Welcome to our exercise using SolidWorks Simulation Express. In my graphic area, I've got a blind flange. The top and the bottom faces of the flange are split using the Split Line tool. Let's go to the Evaluate tab. Activate Simulation Express. The wizard opens. Let's click on Options. First, we're able to select a system of units. I'm going to use the English Standard. In the Results Location section, I can specify the location of the study on my computer. Note that studies aren't automatically stored with the rest of your part files. We can check this box to show annotation for the maximum and minimum in the result plots. Let's click OK, and let's click Next now. Add a fixture, and I'll select each of these bolt holes. Click OK, and Next. Now let's add a pressure. Let's select this face. PSI, this is already pre-selected. Let's enter a value of 100 pounds per square inch. Click OK. And let's click Next in the wizard. Now let's choose Material. We'll choose Steel 1020. Apply and Close. Next. And let's run the simulation now. Run Simulation. Here we have animation and deformation. The deformation scale is approximately 230 times, and that's 230 times bigger than the real deformation. Let's stop the animation. Yes to continue. Let's see the stress distribution now. As you can see, the maximum stress is around the bolt holes. Let's show the displacement now. We can see that the maximum displacement is in the middle of the flange. Let's edit the fixture now. Right click on Fixed One in the tree, select Edit Definition. Clear these selections. Select this face now. And let's click OK. Let's rerun the study. And here's our animation. Let's stop the animation. Yes to continue. Now our factor of safety is closer to 7. In our previous study, it was 2.4. Let's edit the fixture again. Right click on Fixed One, select Edit Definition. I'm going to select the bottom face or the flip side face. And let's click OK. Now let's rerun the study. Run simulation. And here is our animation. Let's stop the animation. Yes to continue. As a result, you see our part is even safer now with the factor of safety at approximately 7.5. Let's check the stress distribution. Show von Mises stress. As you see, the maximum stress is distributed around this edge. Let's show displacement now. And now I'm ready to optimize the part. Let's skip the results page. Next. Would I like to optimize my model? Yes, let's click Next. First, I need to select a dimension. Here we go. Click OK. The minimum, let's specify at 2.5. The maximum, let's say 4. Factor of safety, let's say 4 as well. And let's run the optimization. Run. Processing scenario 2. Scenario 3. Scenario 4 of 5. And last one. And as a result, we see that our factor of safety is approximately 4. And for this to be so, the thickness has to be approximately 3.42 millimeters. This concludes our exercise using Simulation Express.